Hello everybody, it's Vortech, and welcome to the fifth episode in our Salt Let's Play. Uh, now today is a little bit sad, because this is going to be the last episode I do on Salt, at least for now. Nothing on this channel is going to ever end indefinitely, because for all I know, the game's going to have some kind of awesome update to make things a lot different, and I'll want to come back to it, so I'm not going to say, this series is over forever, because that just may not be the case. Uh, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about why the series is over for now, what's going to replace it, and uh, a little bit like that. Tell you a little bit more about the game so you can uh, try it out for yourself and be a little more prepared if you do end up buying it or you have it already uh, as to why it may not be the best game for a video series, at least not right now for me. Uh, so we're going to get our boat out here. I'm going to travel around, maybe do an island or two while I talk. Uh, I feel like this is the type of game that is just a lot more casual like you just kind of sail around in your boat and you know it's great like i love the sailing i love the gameplay uh it's it's you know they did a really bang up job but uh for making videos like sitting down to record i keep right clicking to place my boat it's really annoying uh for like just sitting down to record a video series on it i really don't have the time to kind of like travel around off camera and try to find my next goal or quest like for example you need over like 200 hardwood to and all this cloth to build a, a bigger boat there are bigger boats in the game uh, outside the basic crafting manual you get so i mean it's really cool all the stuff you can do but i i just simply don't have the time to work off camera and i don't want to sit here on camera quietly just wandering the seven seas w wondering Oh, I, I hope this next island has a quest for me or something. There are quests, there are other boats, there's tons of stuff to do and see. But, like I said, I just feel like the game is a little too casual and we're in for a very long haul of just me doing stuff off camera. So, that is why, for now, I am going to have to give this game a pass. Uh, they do have other navigational tools like compasses and uh, things like that that help you kind of navigate and not get so lost. But until I get those, I'm just really lost. I'm going to islands and I might be completely missing. Maybe the island I'm headed to now is not where I need to be. Maybe that island has a merchant with a quest on it. And I'm going to this one that just has a couple of logs on it. I mean, I have no idea if I've even visited this island before. So things like that make this game really difficult. And if it had a little more direction uh, from the very first book you get that kind of gives you some background on your story and stuff... If that book featured a little more direction, like the guy who left it for you says, come and find me at these coordinates. Something like that. Like if the game set you on a path to begin with, I would definitely be way more into this game. But since it doesn't do that, it's really difficult difficult for me to uh, keep going with the series. So I just want to thank you guys. The series has done really well, and it's a shame to let such an awesome game go, especially one that so many people enjoy watching. But... Uh, that being said, I am going to be replacing the spot that this game takes up on the channel with a new game. I actually put out an episode on Monday of, of it. It's called Supreme. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I love playing it. It's a game where you basically run a pizza shop and you kind of take it to success. You, you go in and you start up in this crappy little shop and then you make some pizzas. You do some deliveries. Once you get some money... You can buy all these upgrades, and then you can also eventually hire employees, manage out other stores. Uh, and the main goal of that game is to, like, buy up every single store location uh, and have just a pizza monopoly. So, it's it's a lot of fun. There's goals to strive for. It's, very, it's still a casual game, uh, but it's one that I can definitely see recording for a while. And, and it'll have, I feel like, for me, a little more longevity than Salt. Even though there's so much to explore, do, and see in this game... It's just going to take too much of my free time to find those things for you guys in the videos. Because I refuse to do videos of me just walking around and talking like this one that I'm doing right now. Like, I don't want to make a whole series of just this, me collecting materials. You can see how that would get old. So, uh, I just wanted to make one last episode because I did talk about getting rid of this series in a recent vlog. But I know the people who I need to be talking to are the ones who are going to watch this series specifically. So... Again, thank you so much for the support. I do hope you guys stick around the channel and uh, watch some of the other content. I do daily videos. Right now, uh, currently, I'm doing Rising World, Rim World, uh, both awesome games, and now Supreme. So, yeah, I just hope you guys uh, stick around for the content. I'm trying to keep no more than three games on the channel at a time. Uh, so, any more than that, and it, it gets kind of crazy. But... 
That's all I got for you. Again, thank you so much. I'll, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I kept playing this game off camera. Maybe if I get more into it. Maybe if I start unlocking some quests. Uh, one day I'll just start recording it again. You never know. So just keep your eyes open. Check back here once in a while. Uh, especially, I've learned a few things about the subscription box on YouTube. If you stop watching someone, eventually their videos stop popping up in your sub box. That's why people think the subscription box is broken. When in reality, it's not broken. It's like a Facebook filter. The friends you don't interact with on Facebook, eventually their posts stop showing up in your feed until you go and seek those again and interact. Uh, so if you keep interacting with the channel, you're going to keep seeing things, my, my videos popping up in your sub box. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that quick heads up in case I do do an episode 6 of Salt. You might miss it. So be sure you have that checked as well. Thank you guys again. Again and again and again. I will see you hopefully around the channel. Peace out. It's awesome. It kind of reminds me of that uh, Simpsons Grand Theft Auto type game where you can run around in the Simpsons and steal cars and stuff. Uh-oh. Failed our first delivery. I heard the news. You flipped your car on the way to deliver my pizza. How do you even do that? <laughs> well, you run over a curb, apparently.